Hey guys, Jobwise Jones here. Good to see you again. You probably noticed in the past few weeks I've got a little mess behind me. This is because Jobwise Jones got interviewed also. I did a, uh, went for a higher uh, job within my uh, within my hospital administration work there. And uh, I, my first interview was about two months ago. I had a seven panel board interviewing me for over an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> wow. And then the second interview, uh, they call me back a month later for a second interview. That was a one-on-one. -on -one. And then I seem to have made them happy and uh, I got the job. But I'll tell you guys this right now. I used all my job-wise Jones techniques and that helped me out immensely. So just so you guys know. But like I say with interviews and getting a job, 80% what you know, 20% luck. Because you don't always know what you're thinking when they're interviewing you, right? So it's always that 20%, right? So there we go. Well, that's my mess behind me. I'm moving to Southern California. I'll be there next week, but I'll still be making my videos for you guys, okay? I'm still faithful and loyal to my MAs out there. Okay, here we go. So let's get right down to it for some BP madness. This is for blood pressure questions. This is good for your CCMA. It's also good for students in medical assisting school and plus those who are considering the MA field. Let's get right down to it. I want to ask the question twice and then give you the answer. Here we go. Define blood pressure pressure yeah good question hmm what is blood pressure define blood pressure it's the amount of force exerted by the blood on the peripheral artery walls okay that's what it is how is blood pressure expressed so how is blood pressure expressed Millimeters of Hg, mm of Hg, okay? That's all you gotta know. It's kind of simple actually, all right? Next question. The appropriate width of a cuff is what? Good question, right? The appropriate width of a cuff is what? It's 40% of the circumference of the limb. Understand? It's 40% of the circumference of the limb. All right? Here we go. The appropriate length of the cuff is what? Ah, good one, right? The appropriate length of the cuff is what? It's 80% of the circumference of the limb. 80% of the circumference of the limb. All right, that's a good one there, guys, okay? The BP cuff is centered over which artery? Hmm? You should know this one already. The BP cuff is centered over which artery? The brachial, all right, the brachial artery, okay? <laughs> What is the location of the BP cuff in relation to the anti-cubital crease? Kind of a long question, I know. Let's do it again. What is the location of the BP cuff in relation to the anti-cubital crease? 2.5 centimeters above. All right. 2.5 centimeters above. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's keep on going, guys. You're doing good. Brachial artery is far below the heart level. How will this affect blood pressure? Okay, think about that, guys, okay? If the brachial artery is far below the heart level, how will this affect blood pressure? you will get a false high. It will be a false high, okay? Next one. If the brachial artery is far above heart level, how will this affect the BP reading? Let's try again. If the brachial artery is far above heart level, how will this affect the BP reading? It'll be a false low. 
what's the most common artery to use for blood pressure? I just said a little bit ago. So what is the most common artery to use for blood pressure? The brachial artery, right? Good, good, good. Okay. How high should the BP cuff be inflated above the palpatory systolic pressure? Here we go again. How high should the BP cuff be inflated above the palpatory systolic pressure? 30 mm millimeters HG. 30 mm HG, okay? You're doing good, you're doing good. Okay, what is the rate of release of blood pressure when taking a blood pressure reading? So what's the rate of release, right? The rate of release of pressure when taking a blood pressure. So what's the rate of release? How fast do you do it? It's two to three mm per second. Two to three mm Hg per second. So kind of steady, okay? okay? So while you're doing your BP reading, all right, listen to the question. When do you take the systolic blood pressure? Okay, so you're doing your, your BP. Again, when do you take the systolic blood pressure? The level at which you hear the sounds of at least two consecutive beats. Okay, the level at which you hear the sounds of at least two consecutive beats. Okay, now when do you take the diastolic blood pressure? Right? So you heard the systolic already, boom, boom. So when do you take the diastolic blood pressure? When the beats disappear. All right, you're doing good, you're doing good. I want to remind you guys to please subscribe to this channel. Subscribe is great, hit the like button for sure. If you like it, we gotta grow this channel. Still, we're number three now though, so it's a really good deal for MA focused videos. I have over 130 now, uh, which 90% are MA focused. So it's pretty good for a, any, any channel out there you'll find. Uh, we are very focused on MA everything, okay? So uh, please keep that going. Also, if you want any MA merch, uh, medgalaxy.etsy.com. Got some MA merch over there for you too as well, okay? This last question will take some thinking, so I'm going to just tell you what the answers are. After I ask the question, I'll give you some time, of course, but it's kind of a, a long type answer, so just so you know ahead of time. So here we go. What are the seven common errors in BP measures? Okay, let's do it again. What are the seven common errors in BP measures or measurement? What are the seven common errors? Okay. Let's just go right down to it and we'll see what we get, right? Improper cuff size. Arm not at heart level. Cuff is not completely deflated before use. Deflation of the cuff is faster than 2 to 3 mmHg per second. I Meaning you're going too fast, right? <clears throat> Number five, the cuff is re-inflated during the procedure. Improper cuff placement. And of course, the last one's kind of hard to figure out sometimes, but defective equipment. So let's go through it again. Improper cuff size. Arm not at heart level. Cuff is not completely deflated before use. Deflation of the cuff is faster than 2 to 3 mmHg per second. The cuff is reinflated during the procedure. Improper cuff placement. And of course, defective equipment. Now, this review, guys, should help you out with your CCMA part for any kind of blood pressure questions you may have. I already know you're going to have like one or two of these questions on your test. Just know them all understand the basic mechanics of a blood pressure cuff and you should be fine okay all right hey you guys of course as always please subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below of course i would really appreciate that if you like it hit like of course as always right and thank you very much you guys have a good day and bye-bye